I really understood the magnitude of uh, what had happened at that time after the interview with the ambassador of Israel and listening to what my father had uh, told him. And then I asked my mother if she had any documents that I could read about that uh, event. And she gave me a magazine, uh, The Jewish Observer, of October 1955, where there is an article uh, that talks about my father. It's called The Wars Unpaid Debt of Honor. And so uh, in this article, I learned that it was not just one or two or three Jews that were saved. There were hundreds, thousands of people that were saved thanks to these uh, Salvadorian safe conducts or passports. As a historian of the Holocaust, specializing in rescue and rescue attempts during this tragic period, I've often wondered whether there was really anything new that had not been written about in the hundreds and thousands of books that have been published on the subject since the end of World War II. Fortunately, I virtually stumbled upon the most incredible such event, so unusual that I myself did not believe it at first, involving several unusual players. Two small countries, the people of Switzerland and the country of El Salvador, and two of its diplomats, Consul General Colonel Arturo Castellanos and First Secretary George Mandel Mantello, who also happened to be a Jew. My father came to Geneva, went to see Castellanos, explained his whole situation, and Castellanos was very understanding, he understood the danger in which he, he was, and said, all right, I'll make you a consular official in my consulate here in Geneva. I'll give you a passport. And this is how he became suddenly a Salvadorian appointed to Geneva. If anyone needed a proof of how effective the, the Lutz action was, added on with the Salvador uh, action in, in, implied in it, is to look at the photographs of the, of the glass house. I mean, hundreds of people day and night queuing up trying to get some protection, uh, trying to be saved because otherwise they would be deported. The interesting thing about the San Salvador certificates is that such a remote country without any Jews involved would do such a good thing for Jews in Hungary. And there were no El Salvador citizens in Budapest at that time. And that is extraordinary for me.